Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel here at the Northeast Van Life Meetup 2023. And I bumped into Carla, and Carla's gonna give us a tour of her no build camper conversion. Hi. Um... So this is my 2017 um, Dodge Grand Caravan no-build camper conversion, uh, affectionately called Tilly. Um, pandemic project, as I think a lot of ours have been. Um, I opted for a no-build because I really just wanted to create something that I could put in and out myself and that whenever the van dies, it's easy to just pull everything out and I can put it in a new vehicle and get back on the road. So um, this is version sort of to 1.5, I guess. I've made some changes when I after I did my first one. And so I'm just gonna show you guys around. So the front is just basic stock. I didn't change anything in here. Um, these window screens um, are super helpful just to get extra ventilation and side pockets are great for just extra storage so i have a little sweeper there and just some little wipes and such for the van i opted to do a sink because i actually use it um, for my dishes i just have my mixed water dr bronner's and water and vinegar and water um, it makes it super simple the basics of my build are I have three stands that are the same and a cot. And that makes the foundation of the van. And I found that really just great and simple. Um, so I'll show you the inside. Underneath the sink, which this is actually an oil drain pan. So it's really nice if you just want to have a simple way to have a sink and a gray water catchment in one. Um, I have kind of toiletry storage under here. My water container, it's a four gallon and this basket can hold shoes and other miscellaneous items. Paper towel storage, I found this was a great place for it. Um, and I also have just a mirror in case I need it for getting ready. Um, in between the seat storage, I also have um, just a step stool that I can um, use to sit on um, if I'm sitting here to get ready. And my trash can is tucked conveniently in between the seats. Um, and I have my trash and a little recycling in there too. Um, this bed is about 24 inches wide, I think by like 75 or 76. And I just got a foam mattress plus a one and a half inch topper. And I'm able to sit up comfortably, which is was important to me. I didn't want to be bumping my head. Um, this. The head of the bed can raise, which is nice. So I figure if I'm at a spot that's maybe a little unlevel, I'm able to sort of raise my head and sort of, you know, uh, get a bit comfortable. And then um, under the bed storage, I just have um, some extra storage here. I have some extra clothes and things back there, a table, um, camping blanket. I have a little power station here. This is about 500 watts. And I also have a refrigerator. Um, it was important to me to find something that could fit under the bed because I wanted to maximize my under the bed stores. So this has been convenient and it's running off of the power station and it has a pretty, um, it's pretty um, efficient, um, which is nice. And then just the back storage here, I have keep my camping chair. I have an external, um, screen tent so that I'm able to have like expand out if I'm you know camping and not being stealth um, and I also have a little bucket that I can use like for showering and when we go to the back I'll show you I have like a shower tent that I can use for that as well on this side I actually have like just a little rack with some books and some lights these are cool and I have little hang tabs here so I just hang them on either side and I'm able to get some light in here and one of the things that was really um important to me was to be able to work. And so I figured out how to add this curtain rod and some blackout curtains. And I actually have a um, desktop or technically a shelf that I'm able to pull out and use as a desk and sit here and work. And I have this curtain as my background. So that's been really cool. And I was excited when I figured that out. Um, and also acts as extra counter space when I am um, just preparing food. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat. So this was also um, a cool design. I think I learned about this from another mini vanner. So this is just a container I got at Ikea. So this is my uh, closet. 
Um, so super convenient to just have a nice wardrobe here. So um, yeah, and so kind of, I'm crafty, so I did like sewing and crocheting just to try to make the space personal and make it mine. So also there are some curtains and some window screens. So um, I can pull one of these out. So I have um, window covers. So this is the interior and I just did black felt on the outside and there's just reflectics inside. And so I did these for all of the back windows and this um, is really great for extra insulation plus the curtains like it's helpful um, when it's a bit colder outside to have yeah just extra warmth since it can be chilly in here um, and I also have um, a curtain in the front and so I have one that just stays here all the time for privacy and then I have um, Another curtain system that I did using, I forgot what these are called, but um, these are like the little poles that you that you get if you're trying to like, if the snow is high and you're not trying to like back into the snow and it's kind of flexible. And so I figured out how to bend these and stick them in side of the front seat belt um, loops. And I have thermal curtains that I add and that gives me additional temperature control. So this was a really neat hack. Um, oh yeah, and then my floor. So I opted not to level the floor because again, minivans are kind of short and you want to maximize your headroom. So I have a yoga mat and then just um, a two by eight rug and um, yeah, just a little like doormat here. And that creates actually a lot of comfort on the floor and my knees are good. Um, nearly on this as well. So, so that's been pretty cool too. So now take you around to the back. In addition to the front covers, I also used rain gutters. I just spray painted them black. And to this side, I added, this is a little computer fan. And so I just removed the cover to vent air outside because in the larger vans, they're able to have like um, roof vents, but for a minivan, I'm not drilling a hole in my roof. That's not necessary. So I just added one here, plus a couple of additional fans inside. It helps me get really good circulation. All right, and so in the back, this is kind of like my kitchen area. So I have a pantry basket. Um, I opted not to do any fuel, so I have like an electric kitchen. I have a little oven and a rice cooker, and that attends to most of my needs plus a little uh cookie to, to heat up water and so kind of pantry items are here and then underneath here i have um kind of external storage so this just contains kind of some of my miscellaneous in addition to i have a solar panel in here um like tarp extra bungees, so the kinds of things that you would need for extra outdoor um, equipment. Um, for safety, tucked in here, I do have a, um, a jump start kit and a, um, it can also refill my tires. So I have some safety built in here and a collapsible sink. So if I needed like an extra tub, I was able to just tuck that in there. Sticking things in corners is super helpful. Um, and then I also was able to stick my pop-up tent in here. This is my privacy tent. So if I am um, needing to take a shower, I can just pull that out. Or if I'm wanting to set up a bathroom outside, I'm able to do that as well. Um, and I do have a toilet uh, in my van as well that I can use along with additional power. So I have an additional power bank here. Um, this is the EcoFlow. And then for the toilet, I just did a bucket toilet, but I added a jerry-rigged um, urine diverter using a funnel. And so I've really liked that system. That's been super helpful. And I just kind of keep like wood shavings and my toilet paper and things like that for the bathroom here. So that's been really helpful. And this power station hangs out here or I can move it to the front like if I need to recharge while I'm driving. And you can see back here too, just like my little sort of library and, and just added some personal touches, some art, and just some pins from some places I've been. And that curtain um, is great for bucks. <laughs> so I just took like a regular just curtain and that was um, 
I wanted something pretty. And so I decided to use that for like mosquito protection. So yeah, so this build was, yeah, really fun pandemic project. Um, I did it, I initially traveled with my, with my fur baby who is no longer here, but um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. And it's a really great, just creative project. It's been wonderful to get to travel and I'm a part-timer. So, um, but I leave it like this all the time. And even if I just want to go to the park and just grab lunch, like it's just a really great um, project to do. So highly recommend it. Is there any tips that you could give our viewers, someone that might be at a similar point where they want to do a no build, camper conversion. Is there anything that you've discovered over the way, any aha moments, any struggles that you want to share maybe that would help other people? Mm -hmm. You know, I think know that where you start is not where you're going to end up, right? Because there are so many videos out there now and like everything looks really cool and that's okay. Like start with what you think you want and know that it's okay to like change it after that if you find after you're like living in it for a bit and using it for a bit if your needs change so i was able to you you know decide i wanted to make like a permanent sink fixture because i learned over using it i actually use my sink so um but i still you know use spray bottles and stuff like that too but that was that wasn't wasted space for me and i only found that because i used it I definitely recommend a no build. They're really dope. I love that I just have a car, <laughs> that I can take it anywhere, it can fit anywhere, super convenient. Um, and the caravans are really great because the seats fold into the floor. I remove nothing from this van and I have a complete build that I can take in and out or I could take everything out if I had to, you know, carry a lot of people, I can do that too. So, um, and also use what you have. If you don't have a van to start with, I kind of bought a van for this, um, but I sold my other vehicle, so it's fine. Um, but start with what you have. Um, I love it. It's really fun and I'm really happy that I decided to build out um, my van. Well, I'm impressed. I've done one no build type camper conversion tour on the channel before and everybody loved that video. And I saw your van here. We're at the Northeast Van Life Meetup. So you can see like there is about 50 different vans here, people camping out for the night. And this is the one I got the most excited about because it's genius what you've done here. And there's a lot of people out there that might want to lease a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're only gonna have it for three, four years. Yeah. And when you're done with this, you could take everything out and get a whole everything new vehicle. Out. You could put this in a garage. You could go to a parking garage. Yeah. You could parallel park anywhere yeah. you want. Yeah. It doesn't look like a camper. So if you want it to stealth camp or you're worried about someone breaking into it and stealing your belongings. Uh, a couple of things that viewers are gonna have questions about because sure. I've never seen this. Can you explain this sink, how it works? Because this is, uh, this is new for me. Yeah, so. Again, yay YouTube and other creators sharing their um, ideas. So this sink, again, I, I got this from another YouTuber and again, he did it differently, but this is an oil drain pan. And what's nice of course is it's designed to drain oil. So like everything sort of goes to one area. And what's really cool about this is that this is my sink and gray water catchment in one. So when you're working in such a small space, if you're having both you know, your clean water and your gray water in two separate tanks, that's a lot of space. And so just having this, I have my sink, I plug it up, I take it out, I dump my gray water appropriately and I'm good to go. And then that's just one of those little five gallon, you know, um, pumps. And I just attach the tube to, um, a regular, you know, water bottle. So this it. is the fresh water that's here, fresh water. goes up to the pump. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands here, dishes, and then it goes right down into goes the right same down chamber. Into the sink, pull right. the sink out, and it's, yeah. it's good. And I see a fire extinguisher here by the door, yes. so we got some safety, safety elements is here. Important. Yep. Yeah, so let's see, let them see that. And then everybody's going to ask, so maybe a little bit more on this yeah. the screen system because I thought this was just something you went to the store and bought. Mm -hmm. So uh, explain again one more time what it is and how how it works. Yeah. So this is um, it is a. a what is it, a dr uh, gutter guard? Yes. This goes in the gutter to prevent leaves from getting in. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And what's cool about it is it already has a channel built in. So it's perfect to put on your window. The caravan's windows are like really nice and square. So all I did is I just had to purchase it. It, it comes like this is the height that it, that it comes. So I, I only had to cut off 
a little bit of length and I chose to spray paint it because they didn't have it in black. I wanted it to be, you know, blend in more. And then you just roll down the window and roll it up and you have a gutter guard. It even comes with the screens built in, which is really, really cool. So if you're wanting like easy ventilation, Home Depot, gutter guard, cut it to fit the width, Roll up your window and you have ventilation and, that's and the, easy. The fan is plugged into something? So the fan gets connected to like just an external little small um, power bank, but it draws so little power, like you, you can use a really little one and it's not gonna use a lot of power. And the air, I positioned it for the air to blow out. So to pull out kind of some of the warm air coupled with fans I use inside to help with additional circulation. So you could technically just put one here, one here, 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 oh, all the way down. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You can make this whole thing, you know, full of fans um, to increase, you know, the um, ventilation inside the van. You could do one on this side, blowing out, one on the other side, pulling in so this to is get cross breeze. So there's a ton of stuff that you could do. Um, with adding fans and just these little gutter guards. And this is in lieu of cutting into this beautiful roof exactly, here. Exactly, exactly. Because minivans, again, great windows are already here. So why not use them? Yeah. Well, Carl, thank you very much for taking the time today to give us a tour of this awesome no-build camper creation. This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us.